Okay, so year 10. Today what we are going to be doing is expanding brackets with thirds. Uh, we are going to go through four different examples in today's video. So example number one is this. Imagine we had to expand and then simplify uh, root 6 times 2 plus root 3. So root 6 brackets 2 plus root 3. Now the rules for expanding brackets with thirds are exactly the same as expanding brackets kind of algebraically. So all we are doing here is root 6 times 2. Now root 6 times 2 is 2 root 6, okay? Because this is 2 lots of 1 root 6, which is 2 root 6. We are then going to do root 6 times 3, and that's root 18. Now this question, you'd probably get one mark for getting to this stage. Another mark would be available for spotting that one of our thirds here can be simplified. Which one? Well, root 18 can be simplified because 18 has got a factor that is a squared number. So thinking about our squared numbers, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, etc. I know that 9 is a factor of 18. So root 18 splits into root 9, root 2. And then root 9 is the number 3, because 3 times 3 is 9, so we get 3 root 2. And then finally, my answer is 2 root 6 plus 3 root 2. This here is my final answer. What is really important to know and to remember is you cannot add these together you cannot add thirds when like the bit under the root sign is different so because this is root 6 and this is root 2 you cannot simplify any further the answer is simply 2 root 6 plus 3 root 2 do not do anything else that's example one okay so year 10 for example number two here we've got a double bracket now the good news is expanding double brackets with thirds is exactly the same as expanding double brackets algebraically and I know that's something that all of you are quite good at. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to do 4 multiplied by 5 which is 20. I'm then going to do 4 times by root 3 which is 4 root 3 and because this is negative this is minus 4 root 3. I'm then going to do 2 root 3 times 5. So remember like the number bits get multiplied together. So that is 10 root 3. And then I'm going to do 2 root 3 times root 3, which would be 2 root 9 because the 30 bits get multiplied together. And because this is negative and this is positive, this is negative. So we've got this so far. This is good. This is correct. We're on the right track. But now we can do some simplifying. So to start with, I'm just going to leave the 20 alone. And then this here, minus 4 root 3 plus 10 root 3, it's like the same sort of thing as saying minus 4x plus 10x. Well, minus 4x plus 10x would be 6x. So minus 4 root 3 plus 10 root 3 is 6 root 3 and then here we have got 2 root 9 now this can be simplified let's just think about how so here root 9 isn't really a third because it is like a it, it does become a whole number so the square root of 9 is 3 so here I've got two lots of 3 I've got 2 times 3 which is 6 so I've got minus 6 here. And finally, there's one more bit of simplifying that can be done. Because I've now got 20 minus 6, or well, 20 minus 6 is 14. So I'm left with 14 plus 6 root 3. And that's that. So that's the strategy we're going to use when you are expanding double brackets with sets. Okay, so year 10, a third example for today. Here we have got 2 plus root 7 squared. Now what we just need to be careful to remember is that 2 plus root 7 all squared means this. It means 2 plus 
root 7 times by 2 plus root 7. And now it looks like that. We can expand out our brackets in exactly the same way that we did in example 2. So here then, 2 times 2, 4. Uh, 2 times root 7 is 2 root 7. Uh, root 7 times 2 is also 2 root 7. And then we've got root 7 times root 7. Now I'm just going to show you something over here to make it really clear. Root 7 times root 7 using our rule of thirds equals root 49. But then root 49 is just 7. So root 7 times root 7. So like a root times the same root is just the number itself. So root 7 times root 7 is just 7. So I'm just going to put 7 here. And after that, we can do a little bit of simplifying. So to simplify this here, we add our, like, our whole numbers together. So 4 plus 7 is 11. Oh, let's switch hands. Is 11. And then 2 root 7 plus 2 root 7 is like 2x plus 2x, which is 4x. So 2 root 7 plus 2 root 7 is 4 root 7. And that is our final simplified version for example 3. Okay, so year 10, final example for now. This isn't necessarily anything new compared to the previous ones. It's just slightly harder and so there's more places where you could get tripped up. So to start with, we do our 5 times 3, which is 15. We do 5 times 2 root 3, which is 10 root 3. Remembering because this term is negative, we get minus 10 root 3. It would then do negative 12. This negative root 12 times 3 would be minus 3 root 12. And then I'm going to do, being super careful here because this will catch people out. This term is negative and this is negative. So it's negative root 12 times negative 2 root 3. So I know it's definitely going to be a positive. And then it will be 2 root 30. 6. It's root 36 because that's what 12 times 3 is and the 2 is just because there's like a hidden 1 there. So 2 times 1 is 2. So we've got this so far and this doesn't look very simple at all but we can do some simplifying now. So to start with let's have a look at 3 root 12. Now 3 root 12 can be simplified. I might just simplify down here. So 3 root 12. We are looking for a factor of 12 that is also a squared number. So 4 is a factor of 12 which is also a squared number. So this splits into root 4 times root 3. Root 4 is simply the number 2. And then 3 times 2 is 6. So we get 6 root 3. And look that makes a little bit of sense with this root 3 and this root 3. Okay so they're going to match up. So that's how I simplify 3 root 12. So I get 15 minus 10 root 3 minus 6 root 3 and then this 2 root 36 can be a bit simplified as well because 2 root 36 well what is the square root of 36 6 is the square root of 36 this just becomes 2 times 6 which is 12 so this term is just plus 12 and then now it looks like that we can simplify because 15 plus 12, 27. And then minus 10 root 3 minus 6 root 3 is like minus 10x minus 6x. So it's minus 16 root 3. And that's about as hard as it's going to get. You just need to be super, super careful when you're multiplying out that you don't make weird mistakes. Um, but hopefully that's been helpful. Have a go at the questions now and as ever, please get in contact if you are struggling.